Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we are talking about something called Beepbox. Now this is an online, let's call it music sketching program. It's actually really easy to work with, really cool kind of thing you can just jump into, load it up in your browser and just start making music. And even cooler, you can share your music as easy as sharing the URL for the site that you are currently on or we can export it out, save it, bring it back or export it as Wave and use it in your game of choice. What you see in front of you, this is Beepbox. Now the cool thing here I'm working with a music application, and if you're a regular this channel, you know that means there's pain in your future. Yes, whenever I make music, your ears shall bleed. So let's start off with some ear bleeding. Here is a song I put together, and uh, let's just play it. I actually kind of like it, to be honest. It's probably some of my less ear bleeding music you've ever heard. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, this is running entirely in a browser. You can see up here, this URL right there, you can take that. Let me go over here into porn mode. So there we go, we're hidden and paste. And boom, here you see that exact song comes up. Anybody can take it, anyone can play it, anyone can do whatever they want with it. And done. Uh, there's also the options over here. You can go into uh, Song Player, so you can have it just kind of a collection of notes like this. But as you'll notice, all of the data for my song is actually encoded up here in the URL. That is actually really kind of cool. All right, so let's switch on back, go back up to full screen, and see what's what. So what we've got here is we're sketching a series of notes. Let's start this from scratch. So file... Let's do a new blank song. So here you see we've got no notes going on. Right down here, you've basically got, let's just say, this is your timeline. This is your different tracks or channels. And here is the range to play. So it's going to play this one, then this one, then this one, and this one. So if you want to do just one, you can drag it down to here and just get the songs here. So I can go ahead and I can create beats here. So we can change the, for the size, by the way. So I can grab any one of these and we can... We can resize the size of the note that we're working with. So here we got, uh, you know, one instrument, one section to play with here. Now scroll back to the top. So there's what we got right there. Now, obviously, you may not want that particular instrument. So we got over here, we got a number of different ones to find, including, hey, bagpipe, let's do it. So Chipwave has a ton of different options here, vibrato, chords, effects, and so on. And on top of that, we've also got control over things such as the scale. So we could switch out here to uh, blues or island or whatever, get immediate. A much different sound. We can switch out the key that we're working in. So let's switch into A. So you're seeing if you, if you want to create more of a retro 8-bit style or more of an islandy sound or an electronic sound, you've got the options here. Everything you really need is in here. So, so far, we've just done one instrument. Let's drop another track underneath this guy. Same timeline. So we're in that first bit of our music here. Uh, we could switch out to, so we're in guitar harmonics. All right, that sounds good to me. So let's grab that note. Let's make that a little bit smaller. And we can have at the same time. There we go. All right, so our music is sounding really horrible, but it's not too bad. So here's our triangle synth. We could change this out to something else. So let's go over the ukulele and let's do short. Like so. And there's all of our music working together. And then finally down here, this one is generally set up as a drum beat. So let's put... There we go. Excellent, it's a masterpiece I have to say. So of course you've got other options over here as well. You can change out the reverb of your song, you can change out the rhythm. So uh, four, eight, 16, uh, sorry, three, four, six, eight are your options available there. Your tempo can be jacked right up. And yeah, that's kind of the idea here. Now you've got a couple of options here. You can have it go uh, full screen or not full screen, like so. Uh, I obviously prefer the full screen. Uh, this is perhaps the worst light mode interface I have ever seen in my life. So it's probably a good thing that dark mode is enabled by default, just where you can change the themes. And also, if you are photosensitive, look away now. 
Ah, okay, so there's there's light mode. I don't know what they're thinking here. Uh, that is just, that's a punishment, actually. So you see, you've got a number of different options here. Then once you've got something up to the point where you actually like it, well, you've got a couple of options. We saw first off, you can literally just drop out this. This is the encoding of your song right here at the end of the URL. You can just send that to someone and they can take your track, they can edit it, they can work with it, they can look at it in the song viewer, whatever. That's really, all your data is encoded up here in the URL string. But if you wanna have something a little bit more, I don't know, useful, uh, what you could do is actually export out the song. And you've got a couple of different options here. You can export it out as a JSON file, a WAV file, or a MIDI file. And you can actually upload a JSON file back in. So you can load those back up. So if I came up here, so if I loaded it as a JSON, I come up here, I go File, Import Song. I think I have one in my Downloads folder. So let's go to my Downloads directory. Like so, yeah, here's my beep bop song, and then boom, it imports it back in. So you can use this persistence, you don't have to work with it all at once. And then if you do want a song, you know, to export it out, you can basically, again, export it out, save it down as a WAV file, and now this is ready to use in your game engine of choice. So, so there is our song that we generated, the original one actually that we started with, exported out as a WAV, ready to go in your engine or music program of choice for finishing. It's actually a genuinely useful program. Uh, if this one doesn't do it for you, by the way, there is another one. This is a fork of it called Modbox. Uh, basically, they took a beatbox and changed it. Uh, I don't know that they necessarily changed it for the better, uh, but they did a lot of more uh, fine tune control. Plus, you've got uh, theming support for your notes and so on. Uh, but you got a lot more um, parameters over the notes and the instruments you're working with. So if, if you wanted something a little bit more advanced, there's also Modbox 3.2.2 out there. And then finally, this is something I should have probably mentioned off the hop, this entire thing is actually open source and you can do whatever the heck you want with it because it's under the MIT license. And the MIT license is again, one of the most um, flexible open licenses out there. You can do what you want, you basically can't sue them and you can't strip the license out and, you, and a couple of other things. But for the most part, you can do what you want with this. You can embed this in your own game or your own title of choice. In terms of uh, what this is coded in, uh, it's mostly in TypeScript and JavaScript. Uh, with a little bit of HTML on the front end. Uh, there are some instructions. So if you don't want to use their website, you can use Node and NPM and build this and run this completely locally. So you don't need to be connected to the web or use their website in any means to go and do this stuff. The, the instructions for building it and running it are all right here. Uh, basically, you just need to have Node installed and then uh, follow the instructions that are available right here. Uh, so this one is very actively developing. You can see the uh, the last update was actually nine hours ago. So Beatbox is a, a tool that's been around for a very, very long time, but it is can getting continuous upgrades. Very cool project, I have to say. So if you want to check that out, it is available at Beatbox box.co. Of course, I will have links to the source code, uh, to Modbox and to Beatbox all in the linked article down below if you want to check those out. So anyways, that is just one of those quick and dirty online web tools that's actually quite a bit of fun to play with. So if you just want to get in and start sketching some notes instead of, you know, jumping into something more complicated like a DAW, uh, you can do so with Beatbox and you can actually create some really cool, interesting results with not a lot of talent. Or as you saw from this video, you can also create some horrible, horrible ear bleeding audio Again, with not a lot of talent. All right, so that's it. That is Beatbox. What do you think? Let me know. Comments down below. And any other tools like this you would recommend uh, that I check out, let me know those. Comments down below as well. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.